All right, we're going to do a linear search. Let's take a look what's going on. I'm calling find it, sending over an array list called words and searching for the word liger. And then I'm calling find it with words and I'm searching for the word swallow. And when we call it with liger, since liger is not in the array list, we should get negative one. And when we call it with swallow, we should get two because this is element zero, element one, element two. All we got to do is a, a linear search, which is a for loop, and we just check each item. And if we find the item, we return that index right away. And if we don't find it, we return negative one at the very end. So right here, you could just say return negative one, and you'll already get code that runs. We'll get negative one twice. I mean, we're supposed to get a negative one and then a two. But, um, Let's go ahead and write a for loop for in i equals zero. We're going to start from the beginning and just move forward. i less than, and inside this method, the array list is called temp. temp dot size. Remember, we use dot size with array lists. Um, <clears throat> plus plus. All right, and here we are. If temp dot get i dot equals w that's the string that got sent over if we found it then return i otherwise return negative one that's it this is super easy we should get a negative one and we should get a positive two there it is hope you can see a linear search is not that big of a deal <laughs>